everybody. I'd like to share some ideas as far as getting organized because I know for me, I have these pretty white shelves and all these cute little bins, but it's just not enough storage, honestly. I have a lot of florals. I have signs. I have all kinds of little doodads. And because of that, I had stuff like all picture perfect. And then in my craft room, my garage, my little antique piece in my bedroom, everywhere. So I'm switching to these Sterilite three drawer systems. And these I found at Goodwill between four and six dollars. I found some on offer up for five and ten dollars. And then towards the end, there weren't any that I could find that were close enough to where the gas wouldn't cost me more than just buying some new. So I got some at Walmart for twenty dollars. And I'm just clearing off everything from these shelves and the bins. And most of the time I was getting anywhere from three to five bins of stuff into just one drawer. So I was able to get a lot more in the drawers. And hopefully this will help me to know what I have and be able to use what I have and keep it all in one place so I don't forget. So once I have everything in the bins too, I am also putting florals, ribbons, signs, everything by season all together. So I am going to have the smaller three drawer bins um, with just regular craft supplies, my, like my glues and my paints and whatnot. And the bigger bins are gonna have the other stuff. And then the closet here is just a mess. You can see some of the florals in there. I have stuff on its side because there's just so much stuff and not enough space. And then I did try to organize, you know, before. So I had like my wreath frames hanging up on hangers in the closet. And then I had from the container store this sweater hanger that I put all my garden flags on. But honestly, they just slide off. So a lot of times they were sliding off whenever I was trying to grab one. And then I had my like table runners for the different seasons all on this one hanger. But as I was getting stuff out for the holidays, I realized I also had some table runners in other places. And then I have camera gear and just tripods. Everything's just shoved everywhere. So my plan was also that hopefully these white shelves fit into that closet so that I can get that stuff organized too. And I eyeballed it and looked pretty close. Um, so here is the it gets worse before it gets better part. I mean, this is like all the bins off and the florals pulled out of the closet. And I also decided that the one bookshelf that has the doors on it that close up, I was going to put all my books and some of my collectibles. So I have a lot of different books. This is my antique pieces in my bedroom. This is some of my books. And then if y'all saw from like when I decorate for Christmas and all that, I also have a bunch of books that are on my bookshelf in my living room. And I just want to get everything together because there have been times I have bought like multiples of the same book because again, it's just not where I can see it. And then in here, I also realized like, oh, there's my little skeleton uh, table runner that's not with the others. So I got all stuff out of the closet and started bringing that out so that I can try to fit in the shelves. And it just got nuts. So this is the pile. So we got like shelves moved over to the side. I got stuff on top of the bin, stuff on top of the floor, on my desks and my chairs just everywhere so when it gets to this point it gets really overwhelming and if you need to take like a step back take a step back because you're going to look and be like how in the heck did all this stuff get like this so i got everything out of the closet and then the shelf that's on top of the closet i hid it um like up and back so that it would just stay in place for when obviously i move out and put it down or redecorate again and thankfully the white shelves did fit I thought they would and they had like just enough room um, if the closet actually didn't have this little like a uh, angled part it wouldn't have happened so on the shelves I fit the like big glass things and porcelain things I have that I'm scared to put in bins because I don't want them smushed and destroyed by other objects I put signs that didn't fit in my three drawer sterilites I added some of my 
little town pieces into baskets because there's only so much you're going to fit on my soffit. And then I put like garden flags and the different table runners on that side. And then on the other side of the closet, I put my camera gear and tripods in their bags. I have like all my different vessels that I use for different floral arrangements that I change out throughout the year. And then I have like my wreath forms now down at the bottom and my little heat press thing for my crickets down there. So that got a lot of my pile cleared out. Uh, now it was just like organizing the last bits of odds and ends and figuring out where everything's going to go. So this is how it turned out. A lot more room. I've got a lot more light and I have all of my bins are on the left. Um, that way they're not blocking the window from my light. I've got my workstations and then I have like my little library set up. And then above my bins, I hung some of my artwork that I love, which is my little like forest picture and my horses. And then the bins, the small ones on the far left have like the paints, paint brushes, glue, uh, floral stuff. And then the larger bins are all organized by season. So I have like my patriotic and summer stuff. Then there's like Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day, spring. Um, and what I also like is you can pull the drawers out. So if I'm working on a particular project or I need those florals, I can just pull the whole drawer out and bring it to me. Or like if I want to paint, I can get the whole little drawer full of the little paints and put those on the table next to me. So I'm not going back and forth. I really like this solution. I get so much more storage in the same amount of space that the shelves were picking up. Plus these little tops here, they snap off of the top of the three drawer sterilites. So you can just pop that off and keep stacking these drawers as high as you want. Like you could go to the ceiling if you wanted to, or you could keep them all flat. Um, I could have even kept them all at like just the three drawer height and put a board or something also if I wanted some extra space for storage like a shelf or to make another workstation. But all in all, between Goodwill, OfferUp, and the few I had to get at Walmart, I think it was maybe $100 to $120 for all this storage. And I have a wall for, full. Um, I also, for my florals, put the tops up and I bent the stems so that the tops are up and not getting smushed in there. Especially for my larger florals. And that way everything stays nice and full. And then I was able to also like combine all my lights and candles into one. Um, so you can see that and then Halloween, fall, but it's everything, the florals, the ribbons, the, you know, picks, the just little odds and ends that I have for all the different holidays. And then I also have some labels because I had labels on my little, like a uh, greenish little seafoam green bins. So I put those on some of these. I'll, of course, have to make some more labels. As you can see, there's multiple labels on each drawer because I can fit, again, like three to five bins on that. Um, this is my little work table I've been working on for a long time. And it was, I want to say like $10 or $15 from OfferUp when I got it years ago. And then I just put some paper on it to make it a gray background. And then I had this office chair. That's actually a project I had planned to share with you guys for Christmas, but we had a small car accident. Luckily, our, everybody's okay. Um, but it kind of obviously took some time away from enjoyable things of the holidays. And then this desk I bought on Facebook Marketplace, and it was either 20 or 25. And that's my Cricut station. So I have my light, my Cricut stuff, and then... All I did for my mats is I just put a little nail in the side so I can hang them and that way they're not getting like bunched up or being rolled up. Uh, it's actually a really good little storage idea if you're wondering what to do with those. Um, on the wall I have some of my fan art. That is the fan art that I bought when I went to the Mad Monster event last year where I shared that video. And then this desk I have but also has this little file thing on the side and that I just put like rulers and whatnot in. 
And then here's all my biographies. I was able to get them from the different areas in the house. And I also have some like antique Bibles and things that I collect as well. And I really like medical stuff. And a lot of that I had put away. And I thought this is actually a cool way since this the craft room is really just my space to display some of the things that I really like and are usually hidden. So I've got like my European books, history books, antique books. Um, this set is the, I think they're called Clark Chronicles. And it actually, they're all the different books of the Bible. And they have the Old Testament and New Testament side by side. And then I have this cool pocket antique Bible I found. It's like 200 years old. And then my mom found this for me at a yard sale. This is, it's like a dental kit where when like dentists have to make false teeth and things, they use those, that little set to fit them properly. And then I bought this dental mold at Terror Trader which I shared that video from when we went there. Um, I thought that was cool since I had the little dental kit. And then in the jar is a little heart that I found at Terror Trader. And this is my fake little Siamese twin thing that I got at the um, Mad Monster event. And some old postcards and pictures that I got. So postcards and pictures have come usually from like when the like antique stores have little market things up front. And I love that one. It's actually a postcard that was sent and has all kinds of crazy writing. And I actually have not only that postcard with writing from people in the past, but the Bibles have obituaries and little letters and things in them. But if you guys like history, I might share that one day if y'all are interested too. And then these books are like medical books from 1943 and reading those and the treatments they did to people is just wild. It's like some crazy stuff, like literally putting wood splints inside people and all that. It's just nutty. So these are more biographies. Those are my little voodoo dolls. I'm originally from Louisiana, so that's where my little alligator head and my little voodoo dolls are for. And um, I've got also like some magazines my mom gives to me at the bottom there that are for ideas with like color combinations and we also build gates and fence for a living. So that gives us some ideas with that too. And then just some pictures. But I have space to add more books, which I like. My dream one day would to be ha to have like my own library in my house, but we'll see. And then on my shelves, I have all the stuff I don't want to get broken. And I have projects too. So my skeleton guy is on the left. I want him to look nicer. He's just plastic and I found him at Goodwill. But I'd like to maybe put them in a glass cloche and paint that little plastic bottom like brown or black. And then the guy on the right hand side, we really like European stuff and European culture. And he was a statue that my mom found at Goodwill and I did an image search. He's actually a 1960s little statue and he just needs ropes added to all the horses. So that's going to be pretty easy for me to get him back to his glory. All my signs that don't fit into the drawers are there. My other little town pieces, like uh, tombstones and lights and little people that go in my town. And then the garden flags and the table runners. And of course, I don't need to label those. You can tell by the colors what they go to as far as like the holiday or the season. On the other side, I have more of the additional craft supplies. So I have like my... Well, first camera equipment up front and backgrounds and tripods and lights. And then I have my uh, different like cloches and lanterns. That I put florals and change out throughout the year. And another little project with my little conquistador looking guy that I got at Goodwill and the little church I got at Goodwill. And my wreath forms. And I really like these the little wreath stands so you can put a wreath like on a table or a buffet or how I do on the top of my cabinets. I really like those things. They're really versatile. So everything finally is where I can see it. <laughs> and I don't have multiple locations around the house other than I um, obviously have bins of my holiday stuff in the garage still, but it's not my projects or my florals and things that I reuse again and again. It's the stuff that's like pre-made or bought and my garlands. But I really like that 
the craft room is my space. So I like having my books in here and my little collectibles and, you know, just little artwork pieces that I really love that help to inspire me. And it's nice to have everything just together. You know, it's like when I come in here now all my Halloween stuff's together. It's not like I start crafting for Halloween and then later I go in the garage to unbox stuff and it's like, oh, here's projects that I bought stuff for or... You know, here's like little things that had that I intended to do something with. And by the time I unbox it, it is kind of too late. So, yeah, it just works a lot, lot better for me. And it's not everybody's cup of tea, I know, but I have to be able to see. Um, the other thing I want to share is for my wreaths. I found these clothing racks. They're the metal adjustable clothing racks, like you see there that are at stores and someone was selling them on Facebook and I bought them for, I think it was $25 for the pair, but it takes up a lot less room than those plastic things that you buy for wreaths. And it also keeps them from being smooshed up in bins. So thanks for tuning in again. We'll get some holiday crafts going for Valentine's next and then spring, which is my favorite. So have a good one. See you next time.